What's going on guys? Uh, I got another video coming at you today and this one's going to be back about one of my favorite subjects and that's ketosis. And I got a message from one of my good friends, David Price, a bodybuilder I think out there on the East Coast. And his question went something like this. Um, it seems to me on a very low carbohydrate diet, you are going to plummet insulin. You're, you're not going to be secreting a whole lot of insulin on a very low carbohydrate diet. So that means it's great for fat loss, but what about muscle building? It seems to me that you need insulin to build muscle. Um, and without carbohydrates uh, in your diet and, and all this fat and you know very little protein, your insulin is going to drop down to almost nothing. You're right. Insulin is going to lower significantly, but where you're mistaken is in thinking that insulin is the prime cause of protein synthesis, which is the thing that builds muscle. The prime cause of protein synthesis, the 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 um, prime compound that helps protein synthesis, is actually an amino acid called leucine. So when we think about what we put into a ketogenic diet, right? You, of course, are lowering your carbohydrates, you're lowering your protein, you're raising your fat. Um, as long as your levels of leucine are high enough, then you will build muscle. Uh, and this is one reason why a lot of people recommend that you take branch chain amino acids while on a ketogenic diet uh, in order to make sure that you're getting sufficient levels of leucine in your diet to build muscle. The other thing I want to point out to you is this. Um, there's been significant studies out there um, by uh, numerous great minds in the nutrition world um, that have demonstrated that the ketogenic diet actually provides an excellent environment for building muscle. And there's a bunch of different reasons for that. One of the reasons I want to point out to you is that you are secreting less insulin and you're also secreting less leptin. Um, insulin, as I've said in previous videos, is antagonistic to growth hormone, right? So when you're secreting a lot of insulin, you're also not secreting growth hormone optimally. And this is how intermittent fasting works um, because you're eating in windows. So uh, as long as you're confining your eating to specific windows, then you're able to secrete growth hormone at the times when when you want to be secreting it, you know, while you're sleeping and, and uh, after you're training and things like that. Um, leptin, you're not secreting as much leptin and that's important because uh, high amounts of leptin in the bloodstream from eating a lot of calories and eating often um, has also been associated with lower levels of testosterone. So when you are lowering your insulin and you're lowering your leptin, you allow for more natural hormonal balance and that in turn will provide you with a better environment to build muscle in. Additionally, I also want to point out to you that uh, uh, a recent study by Dr. Jeff Volick at, and his team at the University of Connecticut that looked at live human subjects and separated them between high carbohydrate athletes and low carbohydrate athletes. These were all endurance runners. Um, during the endurance run trials that they did in this experiment, the low carb athletes actually exhibited better glycogen retention. And I'll link that study below. Uh, better glycogen retention than the high carbohydrate athletes. Now, what does that mean for all of you bodybuilders out there? Well, what that means is that when you're training for a show, Right? when you're trying to lean out, um, being on a high fat ketogenic diet will actually provide you with more gl muscle glycogen to retain for your really hard workouts and prepping for that show. It also means that anybody who wants to lean out will have a better environment for retaining muscle uh, or muscle strength, I should say, um, during their workouts uh, when you're trying to lean out for, you know, maybe summertime or something like that, maybe you're trying to lose fat. My point is this, if you go to a lot of local bodybuilding shows and you see a lot of these guys who were bulking up most of the year, um, eating tons of carbohydrates, and then they don't raise their fat levels, but they cut their carbohydrates out and they set, they shoot their protein up. You see what these guys look like, unless they're enhanced, they're going to look 
like they just came out of a, you know a prison camp or something like that. A lot of them look emaciated, um, and and that's something to be said. Go check out one of the local shows. Even watch the men's physique category, the guys who don't bulk up that much. When they go on these very high-protein, low-fat, low-carbohydrate diets, it completely eats into their muscle mass. Um, on the other hand, I've seen a lot of people, including myself, uh, get through show prep with a high-fat ketogenic diet and lose fat, be perfectly fine, have their energy be great throughout the prep, and then you know step on stage uh, at close to the weight that they would have been um, had they not even been cutting weight and step on stage very lean. So, um, so that's another aspect to this. The other thing I want to point out here is that the ketogenic diet has actually outperformed a high carbohydrate traditional Western diet in, um, in human subject studies as far as improvement of lean body mass. So that means that while um, these two groups were following a ketogenic diet or a traditional Western diet, the ketogenic diet actually beat out the traditional Western diet in um, improvement of lean body mass. That means body fat went down and muscle went up. The percentage of body fat went down, percentage of muscle and skeletal uh, and, and bone and everything else that's not lean fat uh, went up. So I will link all these studies below. You guys can check them out. Don't um, take me as being, you know, the 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 be all end all authority on this. The evidence is out there. Um, you should question me. You should question whether or not I'm giving you honest information. And and you know, you're welcome to go check the evidence uh, that I've just provided you. Something I want to say about that 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 last study I mentioned, when we're talking about the traditional Western diet. That's something to be said there because, you know, the traditional Western diet is pretty bad. So, um, but it had a higher level of carbohydrates than the very low carb ketogenic diet. And my point there is that it outperformed a higher carbohydrate diet. That's not a, uh, a testament as to whether the ketogenic diet is the best way of doing it or not. I think that it's one of many ways of doing it. Um, and that, uh, you know, we, I'm not going to be dogmatic about saying you have to go ketosis but i think it is a viable way for many of us and it provided me with a very useful way of building muscle and burning fat at the same time keeping my mind in order to do business and um giving me relief from my ulcerative colitis um you know it, it really really helped me and that's why i talk about it so much um, i also talk about it a lot because currently we're running keto camp um and Matt and I are going to be giving a free webinar this Sunday at 9 a.m. Um, you know, you guys can ask us questions like this. We'll answer them live on the air for you. Uh, and we're going to be talking about keto adaptation, a lot of the myths associated with ketosis, like the idea that you're going to lose muscle. Um, you know, and we clarify something there uh, on a lot of our webinars. We get asked this question and, you know, in fact, you're going to look a little bit more flat because at the beginning you are going to be burning some glycogen off during the adaptation phase, but that's temporary. Once you're adapted, you'll be retaining glycogen a lot better and the studies show you so. So come to our free webinar. We're going to give you some free information. We'll also give you a uh, free keto adaptation guide and a free grocery list. Um, and uh, if you've got any questions for me, hit me up on the webinar or any other time and maybe I'll do a video to respond. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.